Hello friends. Today we shall talk about floor division and modulo operators in Python. Floor division and modulo operators are easy to understand when only positive numbers are used as operands. But these become confusing when one or both operands are negative. Don't worry. In this video, I will make these easier to understand for all kind of numeric operands. For this, first we shall understand floor method of math module. Then we shall understand the difference between normal division and floor division. Then we shall understand the floor division and mod operators for positive and negative integers. And then floor division and modulo operators for positive and negative floating point numbers. This sequence will clear all the doubts and confusions regarding floor division and modulo operators. Let us start with floor method of math, of math module. The floor method of math module takes a number, say x, as a parameter and returns the greatest integer not greater than x. This is same as the greatest integer function in mathematics. For example, floor of any number from 2 to less than 3 is 2. So, the floor of 2 is 2, floor of 2.0001 is 2, and the floor of 2.9999 is also 2. In other words, 2 is the floor of any number from 2 to less than 3. Similarly, 3 is the floor of any number from 3 to less than 4. In general, an integer is the floor of any number starting from itself till but not including its next integer. Or we can also say that an integer is the floor of all the numbers till but excluding the next integer to its right on the number line. This rule is applicable to all the numbers, positive or negative. For example, floor of all the numbers from minus 3 to less than minus 2 is minus 3. Similarly, minus 2 is the floor of all the numbers from minus 2 to less than minus 1. After clearly understanding the concept of floor of a number, we can now move to see the relationship between normal division, floor division, and the modulo operator. The normal division operator, that is a forward slash, always returns a floating point quotient which may be precise up to 15 digits of decimal point. Floor division always returns the floor of the quotient. The remainder is obtained by applying the formula remainder equal to dividend minus divisor into floor of quotient. So, to calculate remainder, we always use the floor of the quotient in the formula. Let us now see how floor division and modulo operators work with positive and negative operands. First, we shall see the operands of the same sign. To keep the things simple, we shall work with very small numbers 9 and 4. Whenever we have operands with the same sign, quotient is always positive. Like in the case of 9 by 4 and minus 9 by minus 4, the quotient is 2.25. Therefore, floor division of 9 by 4 or minus 9 by minus 4 returns the floor of 2.25, which is 2. Now, to calculate the remainder, we apply the formula remainder equal to dividend minus divisor into floor of quotient. So, 9 remainder 4 returns 9 minus 4 into 2 which is equal to 1. This way, 9 modulo 4 is 1. In the same way, minus 9 modulo minus 4 returns minus 9 minus 4 into 2, which is equal to minus 1. This way, minus 9 modulo minus 4 is minus 1. Let us now see integer operands of the opposite sign. Whenever the operands have opposite signs, the quotient is always negative. Like in the case of minus 9 by 4 or 9 by minus 4, the quotient is minus 2.25. Therefore, 
फ्लोर डिविजन ऑफ माइनस नाइन बाई फोर और नाइन बाई माइनस फोर रिटर्न फ्लोर ऑफ माइनस टू पॉइंट टू फाइव विच इज माइनस थ्री नाउ टू कैलकुलेट द रिमाइंडर वी अप्लाई द सेम फॉर्मूला दैट इज रिमाइंडर इक्वल टू डिविडेंड माइनस डिवाइजर इन टू फ्लोर ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो माइनस नाइन मॉडल ऑफ फोर रिटर्न माइनस नाइन माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री दिस वे माइनस नाइन मॉडल ऑफ फोर इज थ्री इन द सेम वे नाइन मॉडल ऑफ माइनस फोर रिटर्न नाइन माइनस माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री सो नाइन मॉडल ऑफ माइनस फोर इज माइनस थ्री एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग हैपन्स वेन द ऑपरेंट्स आर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट नंबर और ए मिक्स ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड फ्लोट The only thing you should remember is that floor division always gives the floor of the quotient, and the remainder is obtained by applying the formula remainder equal to dividend minus divisor into floor of quotient. For example, if the operands are six point three and one point five, both positive or negative, then division returns the positive quotient, that is four point two, and the floor division returns floor of this quotient. That is four. If both the numbers are positive, then the remainder is six point three minus one point five into four point zero. That is zero point three. If both the operands are negative, then the remainder is minus six point three minus minus one point five into point zero. That is minus zero point three. If the operands have opposite signs. Like minus six point three and one point five, or six point three and minus one point five, then the division returns a negative quotient, minus four point two in this example, and the floor division returns floor of this quotient, that is minus five point zero in this example. In case of minus six point three and one point five, the remainder is minus six point three minus one point five into minus five point zero, that is one point two. In case of six point three and minus one point five, the, the remainder is six point three minus minus one point five into minus five point zero. That is negative one point two. Here I end this discussion on floor division and remainder. You can take this small exercise to practice floor division and moderators. The recommended way to take this exercise. is to first evaluate all the expressions manually and then verify your answers by evaluating these on some python platform that's all in this video don't forget to press the like button if you like the video please subscribe to this channel and share it write in comments what other topics in python would you like me to cover